Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we will be covering a collaboration. It's the first collaboration, finally three years later. Jerry Lorenzo with his Fear of God Athletics has partnered with the Adidas team to do a collab on the Rivalry 86 Low and this is in the clay colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings and styling videos. Today we are going to be discussing the first release of the Fear of God Athletics collaboration with Adidas. This specific silhouette we have done many times on the channel. This is the Rivalry 86 Low. So we'll go through the overview of this clay colorway. We'll then jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I style this very minimalistic looking sneaker. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. For those of you who are Fear of God fans, whether it's Essentials or Mainline Fear of God or Fear of God, athletics there's so many different diffusion lines it seems like that jerry has we have waited years but jerry has finally given us something to be able to put our money into which is this first release so there were different silhouettes that released different colorways of this specific silhouette so this is the clay colorway that's also released in a couple other tones so we also had the talk and the sesame those two colorways released exclusively on fear of god's website while the clay tone released on confirmed. The colorways are very similar in my opinion. I honestly had a little bit of a hard time kind of differentiating the sesame tone to the clay tone, uh, but all three colors are very neutral aesthetically, which is very in line with what we've seen from Jerry and his Fear of God uh, line in general. So it's of no surprise that he decided to keep with that same aesthetic for this drop. So as far as the upper goes, we do have lots of premium materials. I will uh, say that the shape of this rivalry is not the same as the shape of my other rivalries. It's a little bit more of a pointed toe, so has a little bit more of a narrow shape to it. And for some reason, I don't really love this, but it does kind of bubble at a higher level here and then drops down. So you kind of see a little bit of a hump in the sneaker itself. Uh, as far as the uh, quality goes, though, I will say that Jerry definitely nailed it with giving us a little bit higher quality than what we would normally see on your typical Rivalry 86 low, uh, but this is a nice soy texture in that clay tone. And then we've got some nice light uh, tan kind of beige laces here. And if you've purchased any of Jerry's sneakers from Nike's collaborations that he's done with them, this is very similar with the same kind of lace uh, toggle that he's added on here, except of course we've got the three stripes. Um, you do get some secondary laces. We have a cream set here and uh, the tongue is also high end, giving us that same material of that suede texture. Again, very high quality. Let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling.
All right, so wrapping around to the side panels, again, very uh, monochromatic with the same all over tone. Even the stripes are in that clay tone. Wrapping around to the back, we also just have very subtle branding here. We've got Fear of God on the back here in black, and then we've got just that uh, Adidas logo there and a nice beige tone. The interior is also quite high end. We are given, actually, it feels like a leather insole. Uh, with the Adidas branding on the inside and uh, it looks like Adidas branding on both sides. No fear of God branding on the inside there. Uh, as far as the lateral side, it matches and mimics the uh, medial side exactly to a T. Wrapping around and working our way down to the bottom, we've got this cream finish for the midsole and Adidas subtly uh, branded right there. And then as we work our way to the outsole, it is completely covered in that same beautiful cream finish. As far as the box goes, I will say we do have a very premium box. I think my question to you is as far as being affordable, would you care to have a very luxurious box where you're actually spending a lot more just to receive this or would you rather have something like a duster bag i will say that was probably the biggest surprise to me is that there was no duster bag that was actually included with this drop uh, but as far as the box goes it is very premium you've got these actual 3d stripes here which as you have probably seen on the adelette slides that were also released along with these uh, the stripes have been shifted for all of his collaborations that he's done with adidas uh, so very simple changes nothing too crazy uh, but let's take a look at those last and final details. All right, so jumping into size and fit for these, I will say that because the shape of this is very narrow and um, the top is very pointy, these fit very snug. So my true to size, I feel like my toes were definitely at the very edge of this specific silhouette. Rivalries, I feel like you're definitely a little bit more on the round side, so it gives you a little bit more space in the toe box region. These are definitely a little bit tighter than your typical Rivalry 86 low. So do take that into consideration when deciding on what size range is going to work best for you. All right, so now let's jump into styling. I will say a lot of people have been all over the web talking about how expensive this capsule collection that Jerry and Adidas have put together. Uh, I will say if you have shopped Jerry's main line, it is extremely expensive. It is at that designer premium price point. You are dropping a lot of money if you're buying from his premium or his premium main line. If you are actually shopping from his diffusion line, which is typically the essentials, a line which you can find in many stores like Nordstrom's or PacSun, uh, that is definitely at a more affordable price point. But uh, I would say that this was definitely pretty high price for the Fear of God Athletics. Um, definitely not a affordable capsule collection if you're trying to get like a full all together look. I will say if you're interested in purchasing peaches, I only purchase actually one piece. This is the heavy 3 4 mock tee. I actually got it in a very large size because it's almost almost an actual hooded sweatshirt because the oversized length of this almost kind of covers the entirety of my arm. So technically I got like a steal or this off for clearance in a way because it's more of a hoodie for me than an actual t-shirt. Uh, but anyways, I highly recommend just getting one or two pieces and mixing and matching them with your essentials pieces if you do have them. Saves you a lot of money, matches perfectly. Uh, so for this first look, I wore this mock neck with just some of my favorite God Essential black sweats. Kind of looks like they both came together. I don't think there was any main key differences in the drop he did with Adidas. Just a little um, different branding. Back, baby, you gotta say something. My skinny jeans, your leggings, no two gon' do better, but you gotta love yourself first. Before I could be that brother, grow a little, gotta search, get in touch with your feelings. 
know you hate the nine. Then for the five. second look, I pulled some more essentials pieces out. This time a minty kind of fresh look, uh, a mock neck in a mint tone with some matching sweatpants. I'll be your Mufasa. I'm your Leo. I'm your lion. I don't really care about your hair length or your diet. No, you hate working and you working sick and tired. I can be the vibe, girl, the vibe that you trying to find in my mind. Yeah. You gotta say something. So then for the last and final look, some more essential pieces, this time some essential black shorts with a knitted hoodie in this nice beige tone and black tone, which I feel like the beige really kind of just complemented this clay tone perfectly. Baby, you gotta say something. Say nothing, I'll find it through someone new. I close my eyes and I just hope it's you. I hope it's you. Gotta say Whole house looking like a scene out of insecure. Talking about drinks, but you think you're fit. I'm better for say I'll never waste my time on all you want. Oh, oh. And you make everything easy, everything except leaving off I'll never make you my enemy, can't get enough of your energy Know that you're feeling the same way Yeah, we live it up, I know for sure That I'll always be yours of course, for my socks, if I have not mentioned this already, I'm going to be actually coming out with a sock collab with Seth on December 15th for Apothecary. And I feel like all of the colors that we selected on this collaboration match perfectly with all of the Fear of God Athletic Adidas collabs, just because it's monochromatic. I paired with a couple different variations of the sock tone. So I did this nice uh, beige tone. Again, I think it matches perfectly with this. Also, just a nice, simple white tone for the socks. There is no branding on these slouchy socks as well, which I love. I wanted to keep it very neutral for this collaboration. You're only going to find the branding on the bottom of the socks here where we've got shade on one side and the apothecary on the other. All right, now let's jump into how much these are going for on the resale market. So these retailed at $200 and they're currently still sitting. So definitely not something that I feel like people went in crazy for just because probably the price point on these pretty high. Also, the silhouette is definitely something I feel like is going to have to be down your style uh, just because, again, this is not what a typical Rivalry 86 low looks like. I love that he, I guess, switched it up a little bit. But um, as far as it goes, you can still snag a pair if you haven't already on the confirmed app in this colorway but there's also a couple other variations on the fear of god uh, website all right everyone that is it for this unboxing and review if you joined us for the first time thank you so much my name is marissa hill this is shay tv we will catch you all next episode